Alright everyone, what I'm going to be teaching you today is how to create some web buttons all inside of Photoshop, quite simply. So first off we're going to go to uh, File, New, and we're going to make a document, and depending on what size you want your buttons to be, uh, it can be really anything. I'm just going to make a simple a simple 300 by 200 because, I mean, buttons don't need to be too big, but you can always resize them, and I'll show you that in a different tutorial. You want to, uh, let's do the background contents is white right now, and uh, press OK. So, here's our document. What we want to do, we're going to use the selection tool for uh, for a lot of this, or not just the selection tool, but selecting things. So, um, just get your rectangular marquee tool from up here. You can press M also and I just want to like kind of line up with the corner here and then drag the whole thing or you can just push control A and it'll select the whole thing. So now we've selected the entire photo. We're just going to go up to the select menu and modify and we're going to smooth this a bit. And I want Let's go with 40 pixels of smooth. You don't have to do this step, but if you want a little bit of a circular button, actually that's a little too much, so I'm going to undo that and I'm going to go to smooth and maybe 25 pixels. It's a little, a little more tolerable. And so now we've selected this area, this inner area, and what we're going to do is just keep that as white but we're going to push control shift i that'll inverse our selection now we only have selected these corners and we're just going to press well first off come over here and double click on your document because to enable transparency you must do this just double click and press ok we still have our selection here and all i'm going to do is press delete and that filled those corners with transparency it's a really simple step nothing nothing real difficult there now what I'm going to do is press control D that'll unselect everything so now we just have a white somewhat circular edged document and we're going to go and double click on the uh, blending options and we're going to add a couple things to make this look a little better first off we're going to do a gradient overlay and the default should be black to white you may have it black to transparent or whatever, but let's just change it to black to white or whatever color you want. If you want your uh, something to match your website, maybe you had a blue and orange website, you can make you can make custom of these. But I'm just going to go with black and white because I can change that easily later on. And I want white on top for personal preference. It makes more like a illuminating from the top thing. And I'm going to scale it down a bit to maybe 30, 31 percent. So now it's mostly white on top and mostly black on bottom, and we just have the gradient, of the um, smoothing in the middle. And basically, this is what our button's going to look like, but not it's not finished yet because it looks it looks just like an image. It has no uh, three dimensional figures yet in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an inner glow, and we're going to change this to white. And we're going to set the mode to Exclusion. This is a mode that really nobody uses for really anything. But it uh, it actually works really well in this particular instance. And we're going to keep the source, the edge, and we're going to change the change this up a little bit. Just to add some customness to it. Uh, we're going to check this, and we're going to go to the contour, and I want to pick this contour, the... Uh, it's in the bottom left, uh, well, one from the left. It's called Ring. It looks pretty, pretty, pretty nice. I want to make the range 100. And then I'm going to adjust the uh, size and stuff of this. This is adding our frame around our button. So this really depends on what you want done with your image, with your button. But right now it is uh looks pretty good like this. We have some white down here, but we have no black up here. So what we need to do is now create an inner shadow. Make the angle, let's make it 90 degrees. Oop. 
90 degrees, that's straight up. And let's just keep it exactly how it is. Well, let me change the size up just a tad. Change the choke up a little bit. And the size down a bit, maybe. That'll add a little more darkness to the top to go with that lightness on the bottom around our edges. So there we go, we got the the draft of a button and all you have to do now is to control click on this and then press control T and you can resize this to any shape. I mean, you press OK and you have your button in that size in that proportion. And uh, to smooth these edges all you have to do because when you resize the change the proportion you'll find that these edges may be a little bit too square for you. So now what we're going to do, go to select and same thing we did earlier, we're going to do smooth. Uh, we're just going to make it 25 pixels again. Actually, not quite that much. Because we have a smaller image now, we can't do quite as big of a um, of a smoothening because we've just made it quite a bit smaller. So let's go with a 10. There we go. Now it, you can see it curved that edge. Now just push Control shift i again. And that selects everything but the image. See, so it selects all this transparency plus these little edges. Press delete. It changes it right back into a decent looking circle there. And there you go. There you have the button. Just add some text or whatever you want. And you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Check out our other tutorials on our website, mymediatutorials.com.